welcome to Boots and Bounty Homestead. I'm Casey. This I'm is Steven. Steven. Yay! Finally in a video with me. Finally, I've done a lot of videos. Finally. I'm just the 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 help. I'm I'm just <laughs> I help bring her my IT. Then I bring her dreams to life. So we just go All with right. it. Ta -da. Okay. So as gardeners, you know we are always planning for the next season. I'm just a little behind. We do this one. I'm just a little behind this year. No, no, no. I've been behind all year, but that's okay. <laughs> I got some stuff for this season, for the spring season, and some for the summer that I wanted. So, our first order of seeds that we put in. This is a new. Oh yeah. Okay. This one. No. Okay. I thought it was the other thing. No. Okay. okay. So this one is the infamous Baker Creek. Rareseeds.com and we placed an order with them. We ordered from them last year and a little. A little. We ordered as much as we did now. <laughs> we didn't order a little. That was a joke because she's like, <laughs> I'm going to order some seeds. Okay, go look at it. Let, find you, let, let me know what you find. <laughs> and then she said, okay, I'm done. And I go look and there's like 40 seeds <laughs> in the bin. I'm like, Oh my. You can't help it. You want to try some stuff. <laughs> Window shopping but is bad. I love their packages. This is a pink celery. Um, it's a really cool picture. Yes. Yeah, it works. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's a really cool picture. I love how they do that. All right, so we're just going to jump in here. No particular season. Um, I'm just going to start at the top and go down. So, this is a winter choy. It's a Chinese yellow heart. I just thought it was really pretty. It's really pretty. And it says it's super cold hardy, which will be for now because we're fixing to go into winter. Oh, yeah, that's right. You have all and now. people, I'm trying to video. You can't be texting me. We home. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, they're going to grow about five to eight inches tall. And they're excellent for a fall and winter harvest. So these can overwinter even under the snow that we may or may not get being in <laughs> 7B. We never know. Sometimes we're at Christmas in shorts and sometimes we are bundled up to our eyeballs. We never know. Mm -hmm. So um, this I'm going to plant in a couple of different spots. So you'll have to stick around to see where these are going to go. Because you already got those. Now I'm going to do these. Go ahead. All right. This one is the good old... Giant white kohlrabi. I have to get my face out of there. Yeah. <laughs> so I'll focus on his face. Yeah. <laughs> there, we go. Say, there we go. There we go. We tried these for the first time this year, and we really, really liked them. In the spring. Yeah, it was in the spring. We yeah. didn't get, do many. Um, we did twelve. And they go didn't back last and check long. out those videos they too. Didn't last long. We we really liked them, so we like we got to do it again. Yeah, these are giant. This is the giant variety from Switzerland. Largest bulb of any karabi weighing up to 10 pounds. Oh my god. Yeah, it stays tender. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah. Well, that'll be fun. And we got... We get one pack. <laughs> no, I want to take out the duplicates as we go. Well, this is one. It's a different kind though. It's the okay. early white Vienna. Mm -hmm. Lovely contrast. I'll focus on it. It did. Okay. <laughs> it has facial recognition, so we have to like not look at it. <laughs> we're, hi we're hiding from the government. <laughs> this is this old variety is about the same as the purple, except they have pale green skin. All right, so that's kind of like the ones that we did last year. Yeah. So this other one would be bigger. Yeah. Holy smokes. Yeah. All right. So another one uh, we got is the Chinese cabbage, and it's the late. Nagasaki, and this is kind of like. <laughs> Where'd you go, honey? Hey, there it's you are. It's kind of like the uh, choy that we did a while ago. So this is a a Chinese cabbage. All right. All right. This is this is the one we started inside last year. Yep. This is the onions that this we is started the last year. Texas early grano onion. Mm -hmm. Let's see that. The focus yet. I think it's a, a light. It's a light. There I'm trying is. to get the glare off the light. There we go. Yes. Okay. We started these by seed last year. I think around January. Mm-hmm. Make it quick. And I think I'm going to start them 
for sprouts in seven to fourteen and, days. Yeah, I think I'm going to start them around Thanksgiving. Um, because when I set them outside, I don't feel like the sets were big enough. So I think I'm going to start them like Thanksgiving, Earlier. early December. That'll give me about a month more head start. Um, but these did real good. They they blew the other ones out of the water. Just how fast they yeah. uh, sprouted and shot up. It was there a was another Texas grano that we did that I didn't care for. Oh, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Snug up on me. Me too. There was, yeah, the other <laughs> onion, I don't remember what it was, but it was another Texas grano that I, I don't know. I just didn't like that one. It didn't really do anything. Okay, so another one I've got is mustard, and this is a southern giant curly leaf. And this one is also going to be planted in a couple of different spots. So y'all hang on to that and come back and see where we are going to be planting them. I'm trying to sort these out. Sprouts in five to eight days. Ideal temp is 55 to 70, um, which is good right now for um, sprouting and getting going. And then these are also super hardy and they are actually slow to bolt. So this will be good in the springtime as you plant these. Um, they are slow to bolt, so they'll last a little bit longer as it gets warmer. Mm, Your turn. They're all the same, just different varieties. That one, ain't. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. Save that's that the, one for last. That's the free seed. Yeah, save that one for last. Okay. All right, so we got radish. This is the giant, giant of Sicily, of Sicily. And I've got these planted outside. We just ordered more because we're doing a two-week rotation or wherever, whenever we can get them planted. <laughs> At, <we're laughs> they may take longer to grow is what I'm trying to say. They... They are, but they're ready in, they don't say any. I think they're ready in like 28 days or something. Um, and so you can, you can succession plant them every two weeks. Yeah. I know in the, in the spring they work better that way because it's warmer. Yeah. But now that we're going from warmer to cooler weather, they slow down some. So it may be every three weeks or so, but we ended up liking them, so yeah. we decided we wanted to get some more. So we got, I'm, I'm doing a lot of fermenting and pickling of those, and those are turning out really good. And then I wanted these just because they were cool and different. It was the those would look gross fermented. <laughs> this is the brown, <laughs> black Spanish radish. radish. Yep, they're black. Are they white on the, the inside? Possibly grown. Yeah. From before the 1600s, large five inch winter type, deep, nearly black skin, snowy white flesh will keep all winter. That's good. Plant enough. in late summer for harvest after the weather begins to cool. I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> Shocker. Too bad. So that'd be fun. I thought that'd be that was my pick of, of the deal that I wanted. Oh, here's another mustard. Okay, this is a mustard. It's a Japanese giant red. And it's a purple one that I also have plans for. Yeah, it'll, it's fine. It'll focus. Oh, I've even moved and it focused on it. <laughs> yeah, it'll focus. So we've got that one. Sprouts in five to eight days. Ideal temp is 55 to 70. And one more leafy green I got here. It This is called an amaranth, but it is a spinach. It's a Chinese multicolor spinach. Me. And there we go. Hope you guys can see this. I can't. Okay, yeah. Um, I can't see that far away. <laughs> there it goes. All right, so that is really pretty with the green on the outside and the purple in the center. I've got plans with that, which are going to go along with these two if you get my drift. So, I've got those plans. Stick around for those coming soon. All right, next we got albino beets. So we got the black ones and the white ones and the red ones. We're going to have a colorful color. White, fairly smooth, round, heirloom beet from Holland. Oh, those are beets, not radishes. Yeah. It's, uh, super sweet white flesh is unusual and tasty. Greens are also good, which we know we save all the greens. Beet can be used to, for making sugar. Yeah. What? 
Yeah, they, the Albano beets on their website says they are as sweet as sugar. So, oh, wow. We're still going with the oh, colorful wait. theme. Slacking. I've oh, got, geez. I've got yellow ones. These are the golden beets. And these are back before the 1820s. Beautiful yellow fleshed heirloom beet. They won't bleed like the red beets. Um, they're more mellow flavor and they have excellent greens too. So if you guys have checked out my Southern Greens video, you'll see where I take the beet greens, the radish greens, the kale, broccoli, cauliflower, mm -hmm. all that stuff. All of those leafy greens from those plants, I take all those and make a, a Southern Greens canned recipe. So, see, they also know that too. It makes excellent greens. So you can <laughs> boil the greens or you can can them up. So we've got yellow ones that are coming. So, can't wait. What you got? I got... Oh, we have those outside too. Oh, these are two different ones. Yeah. The Chioga, Chiogia, Basana beets. Well, let's go with that. Basana beets. <laughs> the tie-dyed ones like the candy cane ones I've got outside. <laughs> there it goes. Ah. Oh, you messed it up. Dang. Okay. There we go. So, me and Emma from Sunny's Place got these seeds, not these seeds, yeah, Baker Creek donated these seeds mm -hmm. at the um, Heartland Homesteaders picnic that we went to, and I seen it first, and she was like, oh, if you've seen another pack, give me another pack. So, we dug and dug and dug, and I finally <laughs> found her one. So, Emma at Sunny's Place is supposed to be planting these as well. So, I went ahead and ordered some more because they're just so cool looking, and... Um, Candy cane striped inside. Yeah. Pre-1840 Italian heirloom. Can't wait to see what they did. That's cool. I just thought they were cool looking. Yeah, me too. That's what caught my eye laying on the table. You want to do that one? Yeah. We got Finish these, up the beets. The Detroit dark red beets. You moved. Yeah, popular standard since 1892. All purpose, uniform, smooth, sweet, and tasty. Good for greens, Good too. for greens, too. So <laughs> we are going to be good on greens regardless. Yep. Well potted compost. Those are kind of like the, the candy cane stripe ones. They're just dark red. Yeah. All right, the last thing that we ordered. Mm -hmm. Nope, we got one more. This one, okay. this one, and then this. Um, this one I cannot find anywhere. And you're going to be like, oh my God, I have that growing everywhere. But I don't. And I really <laughs> yeah. want it. Yeah. So this is going to go in my new herb beds out here and be part of that whole taking over clan out there, <laughs> taking over my beds. And this one is purslane. My arms are too short. I know. You got T Rex arms. There it goes. Okay. <laughs> so, we've got purslane, and this is going to go out, I believe, in the mm -hmm. spring. Hmm? It's a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. a it's one of the nutrition. most nutritious plants that you can eat. One of the, uh, it's the plant's world just, uh, world just, Lord have mercy, world's <laughs> richest sources of omega-3 fatty acids. So, if you got high cholesterol, this is good for high cholesterol. The leaves contain more vitamin A than um, almost any other plant, and with its pleasant, salty, slightly sour flavor, it's succulent, and the culinary potential is boundless. So, it's just total salty, sour, and succulent. <laughs> That's confusing. <laughs> <laughs> we don't care for salty or sour stuff, so this will be interesting. Might be a good mix. But I mean, we can. Um, we can find some recipes or something to use it in. Um, so it's just be, it'll be interesting because I've heard a lot of good things about purslane. I've been studying up on it as a medicinal. So I had to order me some seeds because I can't find them. She had to have more seeds. Had to have more seeds from Baker Creek. Yes. Now Last this one. is radicchio. Mm -hmm. And there this is go. under the chicory. Um, is it going to focus? <laughs> Turn it slightly. Just, there it goes. It's the... Glare. There it is. Okay. Yeah, it's the glare from the sun coming in the window. Don't call it sunshine. Um, this is under chicory and also uh, radicchio on the website. 
dark red wine, round, medium sized heads grows as a fall crop. It's like a red cabbage. Huh. That's exactly what it looks like. Mm -hmm. It's kind of like a red cabbage. And then you got the free one. Yep. The free and the free seed. one tripped me out. <laughs> I liked my free seed last year. I haven't planted it yet, and I don't know why not. But my free seed last year was the rugged jack kale. Yes. That I, I wanted to order, but then I ended up getting it free. But this one made me laugh. You'll have to hold it up there. <laughs> Sorry. We got wasabi. Clean. There it goes. Japanese wasabi. And I'm like, what the heck am I going to do with this? <laughs> but it's a wasabi radish. So um, this is a good time for it to come in. 60 days to maturity. Spicy flavor. Pungent, spicy flavor. Perfect for lovers of wasabi. I might just have to grow it and give it to one of my chef friends. See what he can do with it. Give it to Keith. Oh, come on. Excuse you, Danny. Yeah, we we'll give it to Daddy. See what Daddy can do with yeah, it. Yeah, he does. He's, he, he, he likes spicy. He's very inventive with stuff like that. <laughs> all right. Well, guys, that That's is it. our order from Baker Creek. We've loved all their seeds. I haven't had any problems unless it was me. Yeah, I'm usually the problem. I didn't no. grow it right for whatever reason. But no. we haven't had any problems with their seeds, and they're always my, my first go-to. Um... So go check out their website. It's rareseeds.com. And these are all heirloom. Now they do also have uh, plants. If you need to order plants like berry bushes and stuff like that. And then they have bulbs for your flowers and stuff. And they do have flowers as well. I just, I don't grow flowers unless they're medicinal. Or, or if they, they do something for us. Yeah. yeah, in some way. I don't just grow them because they're pretty. Mm -mm, it's they have to have a purpose if they're grown in my gardens. <laughs> So, um, yeah, go check out Baker Creek Heirloom Seeds at rareseeds.com and let me know what you order from them. Um, so, we are going to be planting these pretty soon. I won't do it. I'm trying to get close because it has all the information right here. That's okay. They go on the website. So, I, I tried. That's okay. Oh, don't knock them off. Right. All right, guys. Well, thanks for hanging out with us and going through our seeds. And one of the next few videos you're going to see coming out is where we go and plant some of these. So stick around and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye guys.